have a separate infection control team and infection control protocol as well and um, so any, anybody who goes into the icu there is a there is a strict uh, order that everybody has to wear a ppe and there is no exception even uh, x ray technician a paramedical staff or the one who delivers the food also has to wear a ppe and go into the icu and there is a separate donning and doffing area wherein you don the ppe separately you see the patient you come out and doff it separately and there has been um, a, a proper uh, cubicle for each patient so that even if the patient develops a secondary infection in spite of covid the, there is a uh, required barrier nursing for each patient there is isolation rooms as well sometimes we do some <clears throat> remote monitoring uh, like for example we get the monitors outside and monitor them as well so that the contact with the patient also is minimal but as you know there are certain procedures we need to be uh, we need to do with the patients like uh what we say when we put the patient on meds later or when we put put something uh, a lines in a uh, patient central lines in arterial line. we need to be in touch with the patient so that we have to be very careful so we use adequate hand sanitizing techniques we use gloves and we also take precautions so that the aerosol generating procedures do not be affecting the healthcare professionals and uh, an n95 mask and the shield is a must for all the doctors and um, most of the doctors use the uh, uh, respirators and uh, that's how we avoid the cross contamination of the stuff and even the duty schedule is in such a way that uh, the doctors won't if the if at all a doctor gets infected by any chance uh, they will not infect the others so that there will be rotation of the duty shifts and usually uh, the gap, once they come out of the icu as well they won't get together in a groups so or have their food together there will be always a proper uh, uh, social distancing and proper hand Uh, hand sanitizing techniques and wash mask wearing. So these are the techniques we use in our eyes to cover the cross 